Every year, thousands of tons of silver are extracted from deep within the Earth. Renowned for its exceptional conductivity and reflectivity, silver commands high prices with a single ingot costing up to $15,000. To uncover the process behind the production of this precious metal, we visited the two largest silver deposits in the world. Silver formation starts deep within the Earth's layers where magmatic processes take place. Geothermal activity leads to the movement of magma, which can carry silver-containing minerals. As magma rises towards the Earth's crust through processes like magmatic intrusion, it begins to cool and solidify. During this cooling process, minerals crystallize, some of which contain silver. Silver-containing minerals accumulate in veins, which are deposits within rocks. These veins form as a result of hydrothermal activity, where mineral-rich groundwater interacts with rocks and deposits silver-containing minerals over time. Approximately 170 million years ago, the collision of continental plates led to the formation of the majestic Andes mountain range, which stands as the richest source of silver globally. Within this geological marvel, the Earth concealed veins of silver, some exceeding three meters in thickness, particularly notable in Potosi. This area became the epicenter of an extraordinary phenomenon that would reshape history. This remarkable discovery marked the beginning of an extraordinary era, a mountain composed of silver in Potosi. The colonization of America in the 16th century led to the discovery of large silver deposits in places like Mexico and Bolivia. Exploitation of these mines had a significant impact on the global economy. This extraordinary metal not only boosted the economy of the time, but also shaped the destiny of entire continents. For three centuries, Potosi was the titan that provided 80% of the world's silver, dubbed by the Spanish as the Cerro Rico, also known as Rich Hill, due to its unparalleled wealth. In 1553, Bartolomé de Medina, a visionary Spanish textile merchant who traveled 8,000 kilometers in search of fortune, entered the scene. His innovative chemical formula, based on the use of mercury, unlocked the hidden riches of Potosi. Medina discovered that copper sulfate, commonly used for tanning leather, would complete the formula. This breakthrough enabled the extraction of silver from the mines of Potosi, revealing immense wealth for Spain and transforming the economy of the region. This revelation transformed Potosi into becoming the world's busiest industrial complex, extracting 220 tons of silver annually. Every year, the Spanish minted 2.5 million silver coins using three massive furnaces, establishing the famous pieces of eight as the first universal currency. Silver became key to human prosperity, serving as legal tender in the United States until 1857 and playing a crucial role in international trade, being accepted as a medium of exchange worldwide. Each of these coins would be valued at around $80 today. Spanish fleets extracted an astonishing 50,000 tons of silver from the Americas. In the words of a historian, the magnitude of silver extraction from Potosi is so astounding that it has been claimed that a bridge could be built from Madrid to Potosi with all the silver that was extracted. Silver's exceptional conductivity and reflectivity make it indispensable in various industries. It is commonly used in electronic components and in construction and as an insulating coating for glass. In this harsh and challenging environment emerges a mining company known as the Proano Mine that produces silver ingots and also sets the standard for quality, with compositions ranging between an impressive 93% and 97% purity. The Proano Mine, a jewel of silver mining, stands as the most important mining company in the world. Mexico holds the title of the world's largest silver producer, satisfying almost 20% of global demand. The Proano Mine, with its excavations dating back to 1566, has already extracted 30,000 tons of silver and continues its productive legacy, generating over 1 million kilograms annually. At 400 meters underground, the thrilling process unfolds in the depths of the mine, where geologists armed with a radon gun aim at the rock to initiate exploration for silver treasures. This exploration detects levels of 40 elements. Silver doesn't reveal its characteristic shine, but presents itself in an intriguing dark grey colour. After identifying possible deposits, a detailed assessment follows, tracing the trail of the quality and quantity of silver present. In an exhausting journey through the wet and dusty tunnel system, miners face temperatures reaching 45 degrees Celsius, a true infernal heat. The extent of the deposits unfolds along 15 kilometres at different levels, requiring the monthly excavation of 3,000 metres of new tunnels, 
In this monumental effort, a gigantic machine with its rotary cutting head becomes the key player that paves the way through the rock. Over 600 kilometers of tunnels have been carved in over 400 years. But before extracting the precious mineral, the mine prepares for an explosive show. The process continues with a high-precision laser measurement system that guides the creation of 115 millimeter wide holes, marking the silver-rich areas identified by geologists. Each day of drilling composes a network of holes ready to be filled with explosives and unleash the next phase of the process. The detonated charge is expertly inserted into each hole, and if the calculations have been precise, a spectacle of several thousand tons of rock is released without causing a collapse. The daily feat involves extracting 7,000 tons of rock from the mine. Once the rock is released, it travels through chutes to underground trains, transporting it to a central collection point. Trucks then collect chunks of ore to the surface, where geologists analyze and blend the piles of ore. On the surface, the rock embarks on a journey to the crusher, a critical stage that transforms the rock into fine powder. A gigantic conveyor belt directs the rock to a large crusher. The huge steel teeth break the rocks into smaller pieces, preparing them for the next stages. The real work begins when the crushed ore reaches the ball mill, where huge cylinders rotate and steel balls grind the crushed ore into powder. This powder, called pulp, undergoes a flotation process, where chemicals and a water circulation system separate the metals from the powder, releasing the silver from its impurities. The crushed rock and ore, turned into a mixture 30 times more concentrated, go through a chemical process using a special substance. This substance, when reacting with the silver ore, makes it hydrophobic, preparing it for the final stages of the process. After 72 hours, the rock residues settle at the bottom, and the solution containing the dissolved silver is pumped through filtering presses. These filters, treated with a zinc-based chemical, attract the silver molecules, forming a silver sediment containing approximately 50% silver and 50% waste material. The next phase involves drying the silver sediment in a gas furnace before company laboratory technicians conduct continuous analysis to determine the quality of silver per kilogram of ore. Then, the silver sediment undergoes a smelting process, where the silver and waste material are separated and melted. The result is poured into ingot-shaped molds, where the heavier silver settles at the bottom. In less than five minutes, the molten silver cools and hardens, giving rise to a silver ingot. The company markets its ingots through a strategic partnership with the renowned Medmex Refinery, a giant metals refinery holding the title of the largest in Latin America and the fourth largest in the world in its category. To carry out the refining process and achieve exceptional purity, the ingots embark on a 300 kilometers journey to Medmex's facilities. This industry giant processes over 2.3 million kilograms of silver, annually using a smelting method that represents the cutting edge in precious metal extraction. The captivating journey begins with the ingots' temperature being raised to over 800 degrees Celsius. During this smelting process, impurities are expertly separated from the molten metal, enabling the silver to achieve an exceptional level of purity. The high temperature causes other metals like lead to oxidize and be isolated from the metallic flow. This method is repeated masterfully to ensure total removal of impurities, guaranteeing optimal purity. A fascinating fact is that due to silver's resistance to reacting with oxygen, 99% of the resulting liquid is pure silver. The process continues with the presence of the remaining 1% revealed as gold. Separating these two precious metals is a precise process accomplished through electricity. Plates submerged strategically in a silver nitrate solution play the leading roles. As electricity is applied to the solution, the silver dissolves and re-emerges as a new negatively charged plate, leaving the gold behind on the positively charged plate. This captivating process allows for the extraction of 99.9% .9 pure silver ready to be transformed into shiny ingots, each of which has a value of approximately $15,000. If you want to know how soap is made, watch the video on your screen, and please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating the notifications to continue learning. Thanks for watching.